All right, in this video, we're discussing section 9-3 on rotations. Okay, um, we'll be discussing rotations of geometric figures around a point with a given um, angle measure. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify and describe a rotation, including its center of rotation and angle of rotation. So if you're given a rotation, um, I want you to be able to identify where the center of that rotation is and what the angle is if I give you a protractor. Okay. Also, you should be able to use a protractor to perform a rotation of a figure around a point when you're given an angle measure and a protractor. Okay. Um, again, before we jump into the definition that the book gives, let me show you just briefly what it is on Geometer Sketchpad. Okay. So here I have um, P as my center of rotation. Okay. And I have triangle um, EFG. Up here I have triangle EFG. Okay, and I've reflected it using this angle. Okay, so I can reflect it around um, the center of that rotation is point P, which you can see. Okay, and the angle's up here. Measure around. Okay, now the interesting thing is that the angle from E, the angle EPE e prime, is the same angle as is this 119.19 degrees. Okay, which is also the same angle as F angle F P F prime is also that same angle. Okay, and the same thing is true with G um, angle G P G prime is also 119.19 degrees. Okay, that can change. Okay, so the the book's definition is um, a rotation of x degrees about point R called the center of rotation is a transformation with these two properties. The image of R is itself. So if we want to reflect point R, it's going to be the same point. Um, R and R prime will be the same. If it's any other point V, then VR prime is equal to VRV, which basically means it's the same distance um, that the image will be the same distance away from R as the pre-image. Okay? And also that the measure of the angle V R V prime will be um, the angle of rotation X. Okay? The positive number of degrees in a figure rotates is called the angle of rotation. And rotations, um, at least in this course, will always be counterclockwise. Okay? Keep in mind that a rotation is an isometry. Okay, we just talked about that Geometer Sketchpad idea. Now, when you do it, um, you will take each point and reflect each point, um, whatever the, the angle of, of rotation is. Okay, so here's kind of a step-by-step. -step. Um, you will start off with any point. Here it happens to be um, point O. So they, they take, they draw a line between O and C, between O and C, okay, and then they they measure the angle of 100 degrees. So they measure an angle of 100 degrees going counterclockwise, okay, and draw off the line, and then measure the length of O and transfer that length over here, and so we get point O prime. Okay, and do the exact same thing with L and B. So they draw a line um, between C and L, and then draw the angle of 100 degrees, draw a line, and then you measure the length of CL and transfer that length over and you get L prime. Okay, the same thing is done with B. You, you take B and you do the angle 100 and measure the length. Okay, so let's step-by-step -step instructions. Let me do a couple by hand. And I'm going to um, rotate point P about C where the center is C. Um, and in number one, I'll go 40 degrees. Okay, I'll first draw a line between point P and C. Help me with my angle, okay? And then it will measure 40 degrees. Okay, so I'll put my um, the, the point C in the center of my protractor, and I'll make sure that point P lines up on this line, okay? And then I'll measure 40 degrees. Now on my protractor, um, for going from here, I'm looking at the inside, so it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I'll put a little mark over here at 40 degrees, okay? And then connect that with point C and draw a line much longer than I need. 
Okay, and then I'll measure the length of piece of CP. Okay, so in mine it happens to be one inch, an inch, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, um, and about one and eleven sixteenths. So I'll go over here, measure that same length, where it's one and eight, nine, ten, eleven sixteenths. Okay, so it's the same distance here, and this point right here is P prime. Again, I'll point out that this angle right here is 40 degrees, and these two lengths are the same. Okay, now when you do a geometric figure like a line or a triangle, um, you're just doing the same thing but with several different points. We will do this triangle about point C, 60 degrees. So I'll take each point, draw on CB. Again, the angle is counterclockwise, so I'm going to go this way. And I go measure 60 degrees. So I'll be using this time, I'll be using the outside numbers, 60. Okay, draw the line, line in longer than I need. Okay, measure this length. And I get five, um, one and five sixteenths. So I'll go one and five sixteenths. And this is the point um, B prime. Okay, I'll do that exact same thing for L and O. Draw on the line. I will measure from that line um, 60 degrees. Okay, I'm using again the outside. I will go 60 degrees, and I'm right here. Draw on this line. The length of CL is about one and three fourths inches. So I'll go, oops, this line, one and three fourths inches. And L prime. The same thing for O. I'm taking each point and rotating it about C, the same angle. So it's 60 degrees. Okay. 60 degrees. Okay. And the length of CO is about an inch and a half. So this length should also be an inch and a half, and this is O prime, okay? I'll go back through and just make these dashed, just so it's easier for me to see. Okay, and I'll draw in dark um, triangle O prime, B prime, L prime, which is the reflection, I'm sorry, rotation of BLO about point C. Okay, and you do that for each type of um, triangle or, you know, square, or rectangle, or parallelogram that we have. Next, we will look at a problem like this. Point X is the center of a regular pentagon, P-E-N-T-A. What is the image of the given point or segment for the given rotation? Now, before we look at problems A and B, we have to know what these angles are in here. Okay, they're all the same. I just need to know what they are. Okay, now if you think about it, this is going all the way around. So it is 360 degrees. And there are one, two, three, four, five um, angles. And so each one will be 72 degrees. Okay, that's important for us. Now, let's look at a 72 degree rotation of T about X. Now, if it's 72 degrees, I'm going one letter over, okay? So I will start at T and go counterclockwise, one letter, and I'll be at N. Okay, so it's point N. Next, um, a 216 degree rotation. Now, that's going to be, if I divide this by 72, um, I get three, so it must be three letters over uh, because 72 times three will be 216, okay? Now, the way I'm going to rotate segment TN is simply by moving both endpoints, just like we do it with a compass, okay? So if I start with T 
and go three letters over, one, two, three, I'm at point P. If I move point N, three letters, one, two, three, I'm at point A. So the segment, the image of a rotation of segment TN about X will be PA. Okay, in summary, this video is about section 9-3 on rotations, um, rotating geometric figures around a point with a given angle. Um, hopefully you're able to identify and describe a rotation, including figuring out where the center and the, what the angle of rotation is, um, and also being able to use a protractor to perform a rotation of a figure around a point given an angle measure.